Welcome to the Information Man Show. Information is power. extra but i know i'm the same love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama because when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather stay high i know can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a right side of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm going to follow you. Calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? I separate ways, ain't gon' end well. No, but when we get yeah, back, it's like oh my, all bad all day, but the night get that good, good till we act right. So tell me where we on the day. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? Peace. This is the Information Man. Welcome. Uh, this is an update to the Travis Scott Astro World. Um, I mean, disaster. Eight people died between the ages of 14 and 27, as I had mentioned before. And it was a 10 year old. Everybody, I want to thank you out there for uh, listening to my live stream just the other day ago. I want to give you all a clap. But most importantly, I got some updates for you. Now, I did a little bit of reading, studying, and come to find out there were a lot of people there with kids that were 10 years old, 9 years old, 8 years old. There were a lot of kids. We're lucky that there wasn't more kids that were harmed that we know of. You know, this is all coming out in the wash, but yesterday we were talking about uh, could Travis Scott be held accountable for all the transactions, all the things that happened and went wrong in that concert, that festival? And the question was, okay, is he just the artist? So he's not going to be held accountable because it's Live Nation's uh, responsibility. It's the concert promoters responsibility around live nation which is the company down there in houston would it be the county of houston that would be responsible would it just solely be the responsibility of just the security tell the truth i'm here to tell you that is not so simple as you think it is come to find out that um travis scott is not only a performer in the Astro World Festival, but he's also involved in the planning, in the orchestra orchestration of design of the concert, and that he is in partnership with Live Nation. And there's already reports that the police in Houston were very concerned about this festival from just a couple of last few years where there was problems in this festival and that there was a police officer that talked to Travis Scott about his concerns. And so checks and balances were not kept, were not put, were not handled properly in this whole situation. The police already had concerns 
They didn't really do anything. You've got kids there getting into this festival that are underage. Then there's the conflict that we talked about on the stream the other day between if the ticket says that you are to your own demise, meaning they don't hold any responsibility, then the question is, well, then why the hell do you have security there? If you're not, if the concert promoters are not going to be responsible for something bad happening. So on the one hand, they give you a ticket saying that, oh, when you go into this concert, uh, you're on your own. We don't, uh, we're not responsible for anything that could happen to you. Then on the other hand, they've got security there. Then on the other hand, again, tell the truth. Tell the truth. They're letting you bring in three-year-olds, uh, two-year-olds, you know, four-year-olds, 10-year-olds, five-year-olds, uh, a lot of underage kids who I frankly believe do not have, do not have any, re any, I'm tongue tied here, folks. The bottom line is these kids this young should not be in an environment of this nature where there's drugs, alcohol, all these different things that I said before. And there's no laughing matter. <laughs> I said that yesterday on the stream when everyone came over and gave me great support. Then the question was, will Travis Scott be held accountable for his transactions in this situation. Let me go ahead and say this because this is, uh, it's important that everybody gets this, understands this. Now, as always, definitely subscribe to the channel, uh, give a brother love, uh, share this in all your social media again. And share this in your community tab if you are a content creator. I really appreciate everybody out there if you could do that. So yesterday on the live on the live stream that I did on Sunday, and we asked that question when I had a panel on the on this topic. What is the legal responsibilities between all parties involved? Well, check this out. The breaking news is that a lawsuit has been filed following the Astro World Festival tragedy that left eight people dead and dozens injured in Houston on Friday night. Now, what does that mean? Let me fly back up here again. What it means is that it looks like um, it doesn't look good for Travis Scott and all those involved. It looks like there's going to be individuals who were a, who survived this concert without being no longer alive, who have serious injuries, and they're going to take out the, the lawsuits against the Live Nation Entertainment Company down there who promoted this festival. And they're going to go after Travis Scott as well because he's actually more involved in this festival than we talked about on the live stream than we actually knew he's very much involved in it and they're going after him for their injuries, their psychological, emotional, and physical damages. They're going to be individual people that are going to sue him. I haven't, whoa, I haven't even gotten to the reality of those people that are going to sue him because they lost their son, their daughter, their brother, their cousin, maybe even their uncle. And this is no joke. So Travis Scott, uh, he's in some, he's in some problems here. Um, check this out. This is how they're naming this. A concert goer was injured during the festival and is suing the rapper and the producer, Travis Scott who was the organizer. Do you hear what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? He is named as one of the organizers in this concert, if not the main organizer of this concert. Do you hear what I'm saying? We must tell the truth. Tell the truth. So he is being sued as not only his involvement as being a performer. You say, hey, he's on the stage, he's performing, he can't control what happens in the crowd. Well, come to find out they're going to get him because he's an organizer. 
Now, there was rumors, ladies and gentlemen, there was rumors that um, he didn't say anything when things were going wrong. I got a video for you. Apparently, there was a situation where there was a time on stage where Travis Scott did say something, not to the crowd, but necessarily he said something to the security, telling the security to break up whatever the situation that really uh, caused this concert to go from something that's fun for people to something uh, that became uh, tragic and dangerous. There's a small clip of that, but then there's also clips of people trying to say, stop the concert, stop the concert. We got serious things going on. So there's people that are saying that when they tried to get his attention, he didn't do anything, but then there's a clip of him asking for security. There's people saying that security didn't really do anything that they didn't, they, they, they could see what was happening, but they really didn't do much of anything. I want to say shout out to brother George Makem because he did a video as well as brother Sanchez. Cause I'm going to get into those, some other areas of symbolism, demonicism that was going on in that concert and the imagery, but brother George Makem made a good point on his channel the other day. He said, how could they allow people to be in this venue with no mask on in the times that we're living in with this virus? How could that be? Or there, if there's man, aren't there men? But then again, this is in Texas and I don't believe they have any mask mandates in Texas. So I'm wondering how many people are going to contract and come down with that particular condition due to being in that crowd around all those people, all those germs flying around. That's a whole nother issue. How did the city, the County of Houston, why would they let this happen when we're supposed to be living in a time of this virus. Why didn't they say, wait a minute, if you're going to have people come into this venue, they got to wear a mask. So that's a whole nother side issue that didn't seem to seem a little strange. What's going on there. And so boy, um, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, Travis Scott, he's in some trouble here. Because if you got individual people that are already, this is not the only suit. There's another person that's coming for him as well as, as well as the live, the live nation company. They're coming after, let me, let, let me repeat this to you again. These individual lawsuits of people who got injured are going after not only Travis Scott, but they're going after the entertainment company, Live Nation concert promoter, which is called Score More, and other in others that were involved in the event, according to the lawsuit. This is what they're saying. Consciously ignoring the extreme risk of harm to concert goers. And in some cases, actively encouraged and fomented danger, encouraged dangerous behavior, they are grossly responsible for the cause of the plaintiff or plaintiffs, because there's going to be more, who received serious injuries because of being involved or being present in that concert where things got out of control. And remember, as I said before in the live stream, uh, Travis Scott has a history of inciting his audience, getting them to do a lot of wild stuff in the audience. This is what they're saying for this lawsuit against Travis Scott and the entertainment company Live Nation and Score More another organization that was involved in this concert. And once again, Travis Scott was an organizer, so he's going to get it too. They are saying that they prefer a jury 
to determine the exact amount of damages according to the lawsuit. They're seeking uh, just this one plaintiff, and there's going to be more, is seeking $100,000, $100,000 for their injuries. Now, it's already been out there in the news that people are trying to reach out to Live Nation and score more for comments on the upcoming lawsuits. This is a loss. This is an impact at Astro World last the other night. Live Nation, the company responsible for organizing the festival, said in a statement, ladies and gentlemen, we will continue to work to provide as much information and assistance as possible to the local authorities as they investigate the situation. Live Nation is a concert promoter, venue operator, and an owner of Ticketmaster. Wow, I didn't know that. That's interesting. According to their website, they sell about 500 million tickets to concerts and festivals each year. So that's what's that's what's definitely going on here. As I come back, that's the situation. So um, they're being sued. Travis Scott is being sued. It's becoming very, very, very serious situation. But that's not only it, ladies and gentlemen. I got another, I got a breaking news for you right now. Not only are they going at these individual individuals who got hurt at the Astro, Astro World Festival are not only going after the entertainment company as well as Travis Scott, but the breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, is that they also are going after They're also going after Drake. Can you believe that? They're going after Drake. Drake is also another one who's being named in a lawsuit. This is a, another exclusive. Travis Scott and Drake are sued for inciting the crowd that left eight Astro World Festival goers dead, several others, and several injuries injured as victims claimed. He begged security for help and was ignored. So basically, this is a whole nother suit that's coming down the pipeline in which someone who got injured at this festival is now saying, hey, we're going after Drake as well because they're trying to say that Drake was in on the uh, shenanigans, meaning he got up there and he hyped things up as well. Now, I don't know how... Um, legitimate this is going to be because it wasn't drake's concert per se he was a surprise guest everybody was uh surprised to see him there it blew a lot of people away when he showed up and people were very happy to see him but he wasn't a organizer of this festival he's not a partner in this festival as much as travis scott is so I don't know how much he's going to be held accountable, but according to, to the to the lawsuit, uh, the person who's followed this lawsuit is coming for Drake as well. The rapper Travis Scott and Drake are being sued for over a million dollars by a man who claims he was left severely injured in the crowd. This man is 23 years old from Austin, Texas. He filed the complaint attained by Daily Mail just on Sunday. According to the complaint, Drake came on the stage alongside Travis Scott and helped incite the crowd. 
That's according to this particular plaintiff who's now suing. So I was like I said, there's going to be multiple people suing. And I don't know if they're going to come together as a group and say, let's do a class action suit. But everyone's doing their individual lawsuits in this situation. They're saying that Drake came out into the audience and that he had incited the crowd alongside Travis Scott. Live Nation Entertainment in accusing the rappers, Live Nation Entertainment Incorporated in Harris County Sports Convention Corporation are all negligent, is what this individual was saying. The crowd became chaotic. It became a stampede. It began leaving eight dead and dozens injured, as I have said before. Texas attorney, ladies and gentlemen, Texas attorney, Thomas J. Henry, who is representing the plaintiff, said that there is no excuse for the event that unfolded, for the events that unfolded at NRG Stadium on Friday night. Scott previously pled guilty twice to disorderly and reckless conduct charges in the past, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the truth. This is the information man. So I just wanted to give everybody an update as to what was going on. Um, let me also give you another update because like I said, uh, Travis Scott is in a, I think he's in trouble here when it all comes out in the wash, but I want to show you something real quick on the screen. And there we have it. Uh, Travis Scott has been convicted twice. And I, I sort of mentioned this in the live stream, but I'm going to emphasize it again. Travis Scott has been convicted twice for encouraging fans to rush his stage. A man was paralyzed at a New York City concert in 2017 says a rapper never. Now the people are saying the man said after this whole thing happens that the rapper has never learned his lesson. And a nurse at Astro World Fest claims no one saw a man with a needle start the surge. So there was this rumor. Should I say? There was this rumor that there was uh, someone who was sticking people with a needle. Okay. And I even said this on my live stream that there was a rumor that someone was going around sticking someone with a needle. Uh, and the, there was a nurse in that report that I put up on the screen saying that there was no, well, that's not necessarily true. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a video clip right now that, uh, it's a news clip where there was something that happened. Matter of fact, it was a police officer that was there. He reported saying that he got stuck with a needle in his neck. Someone pinned him with a needle in his neck or some type of drug. And they had to give him no cane. They had to give him the emergency drug that they give you when you're being, when you're almost on a OD, when you're about to OD or you are OD'd, you're OD'd. So there was a cop who got perked jabbed with a needle. So there was someone out there. What a needle because it did happen. And I want you all to uh, watch the news clip and definitely if you have not forgotten to do so, subscribe to the channel, share the video on your social media and share it in your community tab. If you're a content creator, I appreciate everybody out there for watching this video. Um, let's go right at it and let it do what it do. I got a, a few more things I want to say. But I got to say, it's a trip that, uh, uh, I got to be honest, it's a trip that uh, one Drake is being dragged into this situation, but it, it is what it is. And we're going to see how this hall plays itself out in the end. But with that said, let me go ahead and um, show you this video. And what's important about this video is that it will mention what I said about a po someone, a police officer being uh jabbed with a needle that night. And I also want to emphasize the fact that they allowed very underage children 
to get into this concert. So uh, with that said, let's get into it right now. Flowers, candles, and cards have been placed outside Houston's NRG Center, the site of the Travis Scott's Astroworld Music Festival, where eight young people were killed when a crowd of fans surged toward the stage Friday night. I'm honestly just devastated. Scott, one of music's hottest young stars, took to Instagram. As reports surfaced, the rapper continued to perform for over half an hour while first responders were administering CPR and picking up bodies. Videos do show Scott at one point stopping and asking security for help. Anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and... You know, help them get the help they need. But it's not the first time there's been trouble at one of Scott's concerts. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor in 2015 after fans jumped a security barricade at a Chicago concert and a second misdemeanor after Arkansas police say he urged fans to rush the stage during a 2017 concert. Festival goers say Friday night's event was chaos. It was just going down. People were getting trampled. It was just terrible all around. I had my water backpack on and I'm fortunately was used to the squishing, so I just thank God that I'm alive. Houston police are investigating whether people near the front of the stage were drugged after reports a security officer was pricked with a needle. He was reaching over to uh, restrain or grab a citizen, and he felt a prick in his neck. When he was examined, he went unconscious. They administered Narcan. He was revived. Live Nation, the concert promoter, reportedly did not use the PA system or video boards to broadcast any safety messages. Multiple investigations are underway. The families of those who died and everybody affected deserve answers. And that's why I'm calling for an objective, independent investigation. Live Nation provided 755 security officers, in addition to over 520 Houston police officers, to handle the sold out crowd of 50,000, but it wasn't enough to stop this tragedy. Right, folks i'm back so there it is right there that's the that's telling the truth tell the truth so what you have here is that there was a moment when travis scott tried to alert security but it was reported that security didn't do much of anything uh the statement that i said about a police officer being stuck in the neck in the neck you just heard the i guess the chief of police say there right there that he was pricked in the back in the back of his neck and when um they tried to uh, give him treatment. He collapsed or went unconscious. They had to give him the net, the net cane or the OD drug that they give you when they have to revive you. Um, pretty serious stuff. So it's true. There was someone out there that had a needle and God knows how many other people this person might've jabbed with that needle. Okay. Uh, even though there was a nurse saying that she didn't see a needle that was out there, there was re that something did happen to someone. In this case, it was a cop. And then there were people that were saying that the security wasn't doing anything. People that were saying that um, Travis Scott was watching this the whole time when it took place. And again, he has very serious problems, very serious uh, with the lawsuits that are going to be coming down his, down, down his way, coming his way, to be exact. Another thing I want to examine that I thought was very disturbing when you look at his concert. Let me put this on here. Remember uh, yesterday in the, live, in the live stream, I was talking about the symbolism uh, all this weird lights and flames and all this stuff that seems to be very demonic. And um, 
Brother Sanchez and Brother George Makem. I had a chance to go over to his channel as well, George Makem. And he was talking about the symbolism that in the beginning of this concert, when people were waiting for Travis Scott to come out, that there was a bird symbol in the sky, in the air, that had flames around it, that was flopping its wings back and forth. Some, you know, some mechanical machine, but it was an image that they created of a bird in flames. And he made, he made references to the Bible and some of the meaning of that. And he said, it's very demonic that it was very, these images, you got to watch out when you go to these concerts and they're giving you this call and response type stuff. And they're getting you caught up in the lights in the frenzy of it all. But you got to think about what is this stuff doing to your mind uh, consciously and self-consciously when you go to these concerts, like you see on the screen right there and you got the lights going, you've got the music going through your self-conscious mind because music can enter your mind without your permission. And you got these images that have some demonic symbolism to it and how that seeps into your spirit and your soul. There's people who believe that, that these are things that are facts. So as you see on this image right here, this is sort of similar to what was going on at the astral world as you see the actual astral world image right there. So we have to ask ourselves, um, you know, we have to think critical about the things that we take into our spirit, into our minds and what have you when it comes to symbolism. I'll show you, I'll show you this one for, for example, let me show you something. For example, folks, I want to, I want everybody to uh, definitely get this one right here. Uh, this is another thing that's disturbing about Travis Scott's concert and people go there and they get all excited. Uh, check this out. Now, when people walked into the Astro Fest, they're kind of, this is on his album cover, I believe too. He act, you actually go into this big old head, there's a big old head. See, he wants to make it like a circus atmosphere, right? To give you this illusion that, oh, it's nothing demonic about this. I'm just getting ready to go into a concert. And what they did at this concert is they made it look like you're going to a circus festival, right? So you got the big old head symbolism of Travis Scott. And as you walk into the concert, you're walking into his mouth as he's devouring you as you walk into his mouth. Now you look at that and you say, hey, this is nothing but clean, fun. You see this sort of stuff at amusement parks and festivals, uh, you know, circus type events and stuff like that. And you say, hey, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's just fun. Well, yes, it does mean something. Take a look at this image right here, ladies and gentlemen. This image right here is a demonic image which represents to devour flesh, to devour people, to take you in whole, to devour the, the world. And this demonic image that you see is a demonic image of a being trying to gobble up the spirits and the flesh of people, take them in in a, spirit, in a, in a sort of demonic manner. Look at this right here with uh, Travis Scott same sort of thing. The picture may not be as demonic looking as uh, gross looking as this one right here, but that is the same thing. You can see in this picture, you got flames, you got things going crazy. Well, wait a minute. Just like you see on that picture, don't you got flames right here? Look at that. Don't you have the actual flames at the concert that you see here? You see uh, Travis Scott uh, walking out with the flames behind him, hand thrown up. Uh, George Maker made a good point about his shirt. When you look at his shirt that he has on, he's got images of people walking through a portal. So on that shirt, if you look closely on his shirt, it's a black shirt, but if you look closely, he has a beam or some living person walking through a portal door. They're all walking through the door and behind it, you have the blue colored beans getting ready to walk through the portal door. These concerts, when they're giving you the image, they got you hooked up on the music and the lights and they're opening up the show as Travis Scott did, where there's this bird inflamed with fire that's uh, flying above people. They're trying to take your mind with the music to take you to a whole nother place that you may not be prepared to understand 
what it's doing to you. Then you wonder why violence breaks out, why people were doing weird stuff. You got, and it's all mixed in with the drugs and the liquor and everything else. And then you got people out there with kids that doesn't make any damn sense. And then you have this sort of stuff going on here. And right there, they go that shirt again that he has on. You see on that shirt, people coming through a portal and walking out. All of this is imagery to get you to lure you to sleep. And we're going to concerts right now with no mask at a time when we've got this virus and people are going there and they're losing their minds. And people literally lost their lives in this environment. That's something to really, really think about. I mean, I'm serious. It's something to really think and think critically. I'm going to show you this again. I've got to show you this again. And once again, this is the actual scene at Astro World where you see people walking into the entryway through a symbol of Travis Scott's head through his mouth being as if they're being devoured. The same as this image right here. And you can see on this image, there's a lot of demonic things that's going on. People are being, are killing. There's all kind of weird beans and uh, demon type imagery. And you see on top of the head of this demonic being, you see the, the circus type tent with people inside of there. And there's some weird things going on inside of there, right? And Travis Scott is trying to give you this circus Apsisphere. All this is symbolism. A lot of times we don't look at it that way because we just want to have a good time, but we need to understand symbolism and how symbolism works and how it impacts us and how we are culturally conditioned to this stuff. If you can definitely subscribe to the channel, I definitely would appreciate that. Share this video. Um, Share this in your community tab. I really appreciate everybody coming over and watching this video. I am Information Man of the Information Man Show, and I really appreciate all the support of people that I'm getting out there. And I want to give everybody a clap. Um, but it looks like Travis Scott is not going to get away scot-free because he was just a performer. No, he was not only a performer, but he was an organizer of this festival. He was involved with the Live Nation Entertainment Group. And there was already reports that there were pol the police were concerned about security. And that's why the police beefed up security, but yet they beefed security up, but it didn't seem like that security could handle 50,000 people. The police a police officer talked to Travis Scott personally about his concerns because of the problems they had in the past, not to mention the fact that Travis Scott has had problems at his concerts in the past as well, where he was put under probation. And then you got to ask yourself again, as another summary to this, why would they let children come into this environment? Why would they, on the other hand, produce tickets that say that they're not responsible for whatever happens to you there, but then they had to have security. They have, they are liable the hell with what they put on their tickets. They're liable. And also you have to make the argument. Can the parents be sued? Can the parents be sued who knowingly allowed their kids that were super underage, like four and five and six and 10 years old, who allowed their kids to go to that concert, either chaperoned by them themselves or by a family member or an older brother, the family members, I'm talking about the young and underage kids, would they be held responsible for what you would call child neglect for letting their kids be in this type of environment? And then who in the city of Houston in that county would say it would be okay for kids to be in this environment when they already had this festival two times before where there was trouble. Why would they let that happen on top of the fact they let people go in there with no mask? 
It's crazy. Makes no sense, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to get on out of here. I appreciate you listening to this short video. Everybody have a great rest of your week. I'll be back with more. Peace to you all, and I appreciate you all. Take care. This is the Information Man. It's a damn shame. Tell the truth. It's crazy. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my. All good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a right side of passion. We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead But we could go all night Now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail A separate ways ain't gon' end well No Tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. I'm cook collected, but you pushing on my nerves And knowing your intention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the town and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress and gone Flex and hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating this, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure huh? Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here You're listening to the Information Man Show. Peace. You are listening to Information Man. Please make sure to subscribe to his channel.